Today I'm going to talk to you about what are lipid nanoparticles, what are the advantages of lipid nanoparticle mediated delivery, how mRNA lipid nanoparticle compensation occurs, how do we formulate lipid nanoparticles, and what is the mechanism of lipid nanoparticle uptake in the cells. First, what are lipid nanoparticles? If you look at this word lipid nanoparticle, it consists of two words, lipids and nanoparticles. Lipid nanoparticles, they are made up of lipids and their sizes are in nanometers. So what are lipid nanoparticles? Lipid nanoparticles are spherical vesicles that are made up of ionizable lipids, cholesterol, PEG and helper lipid which are 50 nanometer or greater in size. So lipid nanoparticles are spherical vesicles. They are made up of PEG lipids, ionizable lipid, structural lipid, and cholesterol. Each of these lipid components have important, important roles to play. And the mRNA molecule or the RNA molecule is encapsulated within these lipid nanoparticles. Ionizable lipid nanoparticles are very important because they are positively charged at low PS Therefore, they enable RNA complexation and they are neutral at physiological PS, thereby they reduce potential toxic effects. Similarly, a helper lipid is very important because it promotes cell binding. Cholesterol is very important because it fills the gap between the lipids. And finally, PEG is also very important because it reduces oxygenization by serum proteins and reticuloendothelial clearance. So then, what are the advantages of lipid nanoparticle or LNP-mediated delivery system? Safe and efficient delivery of in vitro synthesized mRNA molecule to the intended site is one of the major challenges. mRNA is a relatively unstable molecule that can undergo enzymatic degradation by serum endonucleases or elimination by the host immune system. Therefore, using LNP platform, it enables fast, easy, and low-cost mRNA encapsulation. Secondly, LNPs are highly permeable to the cellular membranes and have low cytotoxicity and optimal intracellular trafficking. LNP-formulated mRNA, they are protected from humoral and cellular immunity. So these are the advantages of mRNA LNP system. Then, how mRNA LNP complexation occurs? mRNA is a negatively charged molecule because of the phosphate group. Okay? mRNA is a negatively charged molecule because of the presence of phosphate group. So, lipids, so mRNA, when it interacts with the lipids, especially the cationic lipid, okay? Cationic lipid, so, so ionizable lipid, sorry, ionizable lipid which are cationic or positively charged at low PS. That means mRNA is negatively charged and ionizable lipids are positively charged. Therefore, they interact. There is a formation of complexation of mRNA and ionizable lipids. So that results in the formation of mRNA encapsulated in the lipid nanoparticle. First, in the core, there is mRNA plus the ionizable lipids and this core will be surrounded by the other lipids. Then how do we formulate lipid nanoparticles? Lipid RNA lipid, na lipid nanoparticles are prepared by mixing ethanolic solution of lipids with aqueous solution of RNA at low pH. So basically we have here buffer, acetate or citrate buffer plus mRNA, this is the aqueous solution plus ethanolic solution of different lipids, ionizable lipids, helper lipid, cholesterol, PEG. So then what we do, we have, this is solution A, let's say that, this is solution B, and we mix these two solutions with the help of laminar mixing or with the help of lipid nanoparticle making device, okay? And that results in the, or, or the microfluidic mixing, not only laminar mixing, another type of mixing is microfluidic mixing, okay? two kinds of mixing. We can do the mixing and that results in the formation of mRNA LNP. So we have buffer plus mRNA, low PS buffer plus mRNA plus ethanolic solution plus lipids. Then we do the mixing and that results in the formation of mRNA LNP. 
So the, the devices that can be used in the formulation of mRNA LNP, for example, is Ignite device from Precision Nanosystems. So the low PS causes ionizable lipids to become cationic or positively charged where they first interact with the anionic RNA because of the phosphate group, RNAs are negatively charged. Okay, and these ionizable lipids are positively charged. RNAs are negatively charged, therefore there is interaction through electrostatic compensation to form the particle core, okay? First the particle core is formed, ionizable lipids plus RNA, okay? Particle core is formed and other lipids actually assemble around this particle core that results in the formation of lipid nanoparticle. So now we have talked about formulation of lipid nanoparticle. I am going to now talk about what is the mechanism of uptake of lipid nanoparticle in the cells. When we inject lipid nanoparticle encapsulating mRNA IV intravenously, then what happens? In the circulation, this lipid nanoparticle, they bind with APOE, okay? In the circulation, lipid nanoparticle, they bind with APOE. Now we have the lipid nanoparticle LNP that has bound with APOE. So then what happens is that this lipid LNP bound with APOE, this actually interacts with the low density lipoprotein receptor present in the hepatocytes of the liver, okay, present in the hepatocytes of the liver. Then what happens when they interact and this gets internalized, endocytosized, and then we see that this LNP is now uptaken in the cell and inside the cells, changes in the pH facilitates the endosomal escape of the lipid nanoparticle, then what happens is that this, this lipid nanoparticle is degraded and this our mRNA payload is released and the receptor is actually recycled back to the cell membrane. Okay, so this is the mechanism. The mechanism is APOE low density lipoprotein receptor mediated uptake of lipid nanoparticle. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much.